National Health Insurance Card registrants who use their voter ID cards to fill out forms that are legally binding would have to make a statutory declaration to correct the information they provided. According to lawyer Charles Posen, it has no ramifications if it was used for identification purposes only. More than 56,000 NHIS registrants were deleted from the voters' roll, and these persons have been given the opportunity to re-register in order not to be disenfranchised as per the Supreme Court directive. Many of these persons since 2012 have used their voter ID cards acquired through the use of the National Health Insurance Cards as a form of identification for several transactions including banking and acquisition of visas. Lawyer Charles Pusen says there are no negative implications if it was used for identification purposes only. There are other institutions that you might have used a voter ID card. But in that context, maybe the voter ID card was used for identification purposes. And where you've used your voter ID card, your previous one which has been cancelled now for identification purposes, there will be no need going back to undo what has already been done. For example, if you had cleared a check in the bank with your old voter ID card, the bank relies basically on what the identity that you are the named person. He also said those who used it in filling legally binding documents should sign written statement before an authorized witness to rectify the information to avoid being charged with perjury. So currently what you have to do then is that if you don't have a new voter ID card or don't have any form of identification, you need to do a, what we call a statutory declaration. You need to indicate the fact that you previously had some form of identity, save that by the decision of our highest court of the land. You are required to have your name deleted and all that.